Oh, hey. Hold on, I'm almost done. Oh, one more pop. What's up, everybody? This is DJ Films, and I'm back with another video. <sighs> My Batman Cup. In this video, we're going to compare Sony Vegas 14, 15. Also, we're going to compare it up against uh, Premiere and Media Encoder. <clears throat> yeah, Media Encoder is not really a video editor, but it is used to pretty much render out... Uh, uh, Adobe Premiere's videos and stuff. We're going to see which one's faster. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this video. Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and test both, well, all three Sony Vegas 14, Sony Vegas 15, and Adobe Premiere. Now, uh, when some people do it, they kind of do it on the same computer, which I think is a very bad idea. By the way, this is Casual Savage. He has a lot of great videos and stuff like that. Uh, you should check them out. Unfortunately, when they did this, they kind of did it on the same, um, same computer uh, and at the same time, which is a bad idea. Uh, you, you're better off doing them separate, and that's what I'm going to do. Uh, in his video, he has uh, Sony Vegas 15 winning out. So, in my computer, which is going to act uh, actually be a more um, more reliable because I'm doing them separate. Okay, I have a i an um, i7. It's a fourth generation uh, 4690K is my processor. Okay. And my uh, and my uh, graphics card is a NVIDIA 970 for the win. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and test this out. This video right here is Crazy K's. Imagine that. Uh, he does look like look like he's crazy in that little thumbnail right there. <laughs> but anyhow, it is a total of three minutes and thirteen seconds. Don't worry, I'm not gonna have this wait for the whole video to render. I'm only gonna show you your results at the end of it. So. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start this one out, render, and I'm going to go ahead and, um, and let's see, let's do it under main concept, and we'll go ahead and do with what it's equal to, which is Internet HD 1080, okay, uh, we're going to name this and we're going to put test. Now, I have this rendering onto a separate hard drive. The purpose of rendering on a separate hard drive, which is an, it's an internal hard drive, so it's not a you know, USB hard drive or whatever. But um, the purpose is, is it's normally best to render on another hard drive because it just works a lot faster. So, But all of these is going to be rendering pretty much in the same place on a separate hard drive. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit render. And I'm going to go to the stopwatch and go ahead and start it. Of course, right here, it tells you approximate time left and uh, the elapsed time. Okay, and so far, the elapsed time, it's pretty much close to what the stopwatch is reading, like right here. So it's pretty much staying up. Although it took me a couple seconds to get over there and hit start on a, on the stopwatch. So this right here is probably a little bit more accurate. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let this complete, and I'll tell you what the results is at the very end. Okay, it looks like it's almost done. As you can see, the times are very close. Um, which just says four minutes 23 seconds, but you got to also account for a couple seconds for me to actually go over there and hit the stopwatch. But as you can see, the stopwatch it was pretty much accurate to the elapsed time that they have on there. All right, so here's the results. Here it took four minutes and 25 seconds. We're gonna go ahead and go by the time where they had on here. So, so four minutes and 25 seconds now. 
with this uh, with this video here I didn't do nothing extra to it I didn't add no plugins or I'm sorry I didn't add no effects or anything like that it's just the video itself uh, it, it, it was a, a video already put together you know it uh, it wasn't raw well, files or anything like that so and I pretty much want to keep it the same for each program I put this in okay so that uh, completes the test for Sony Vegas 14. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Sony Vegas 15. And with Sony Vegas 15, we will pretty much do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. No, I do not want to save that. Okay. Now we're on Sony Vegas 15 here. And as you can see, it looks a lot different. Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of improvements that was made with Sony Vegas 15. Uh, Sony Vegas 15 but I'm not gonna go through it all or anything like that um, but this is basically what it looks like I also have this right here um, which I end up putting it on my second monitor because it just makes my workflow a lot more easier so but anyhow uh, we're not here to talk about that let's go ahead and sort of video track and let's go ahead and paste the video that I had on the other one I mean, of course, I can go ahead and look for it, but I just copied it from 14 and pasted it in here, uh, which, you know, it shouldn't do anything. Now, again, I'm not putting any effects on here or anything. It's just going to be the video file itself. All right. So um, let's go ahead and let's look at the render settings. We're going to go ahead and do it both um, using the graphic accelerator, and we're going to also use it uh without it okay here's without the graphics accelerator and here it is with it first we're just going to go ahead and do it to the cpu because it'd be more closely closer to uh, uh sony vegas 14. okay so we'll go ahead and do that first uh, i'm going to name this and we're going to name it test excuse me uh it's going to be the whole uh whole video all right so once I hit this, I'm going to go ahead and hit my internet timer. This right here is normally not down there. I don't know if you can, yeah, it's normally not down here. I just put it there so I can hit my timer. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead uh, and get started with this test number two with Sony Vegas 15 using the CPU processor as the main, well, you get it. All right, that started and I'm going to start my stopwatch over here. Which again took me a couple seconds to get it reach over there and hit that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this right here. But I'm not gonna lie, watching this right now, it seems like it's going pretty darn fast. So uh, we're gonna uh, go ahead and stop right now, and then uh, we'll continue back. Uh, well, I will continue once it's finished. Okay, it looks like it's almost done, and. Um, okay we're going to stop it right there it looks like it finished in 4 minutes and 32 seconds it looks like it has uh, almost 10 seconds slower because see right here was what is what Sony Vegas 14 did so it did do 10 minutes slower that's on CPU okay now next uh we're going to go ahead and try with the gpu acceleration and let's see if we get a better result so this time we're going to go ahead and use the graphics accelerator again same thing all right and we're going to do test again all right and we're going to hit render and Yes. Okay. Again, uh, I'm about three seconds off of it on that one, so we'll see how it does here. Wow. Uh, look at this. This is seem like it is doing extremely better, <laughs> way more better. I yeah. I might not even need to pause this for this to finish. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pause it anyways. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're back. As you can see, this thing is rendering really, really, really fast. Um, 
this has one minute eight seconds and my alarm my you know my stopwatch has uh, one minute four seconds but like I said it kind of was a little delay because I had to hit restart and then hit that and which ended up took took me about four seconds to do that but as you can see this was amazing amazingly fast really really fast um, a lot more faster now <clears throat> again like I said this right here was done um, separate than what Sony Vegas 14 was doing uh, I have to say this I'm like so impressed on how fast this was it was like super fast now let's go ahead and use another one of my programs that I use to edit videos and that is uh, Adobe Premiere now when we do it with the Adobe Premiere we're going to use the Adobe Premiere and we're going to also use a media encoder as well so first we're going to render with the Adobe Premiere and then we're going to use a media encoder okay I will pretty much have everything up to the default here and I'm going to name this test hit OK now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out because I'm pretty much done with that okay once we have it in here what we're going to do is go to file and we're going to export okay and we're going to export media once we hit, uh, do export media uh, we're going to have it to go ahead and match the source right here okay um, which is the source of the video all right uh, we're going to leave out all the same okay because it does the ACC and all that kind of stuff so we got all that same uh, we're not going to really change anything uh, now we're going to go ahead and rename this because I don't want to delete anything so we're going to do test um, let's put PR for Premiere okay I'm going to hit save all right now down here you can have a choice where you want it to be in a queue which is going to open up with media encoder or you can, or you can export it. we're going to go ahead and just use Premiere and export this through Premiere um, just uh, after I get done with this one we're going to export it in media encoder right to this okay so let's go ahead and export it in Premiere all right now uh, they say time and raining here but I went ahead and used a stopwatch so we're going to see how good this one does and it looks like it's probably going to be just as good as Sony Vegas 15 because it started out pretty quick so let's see okay we're almost done and it is done so it looks like it took a minute 40 seconds uh, give or take <laughs> there but um, it, it took a minute and 40 seconds for this to to render out um, I have to say Sony Vegas Sony Vegas 15 did beat this out but Sony Vegas 14 uh, Premiere uh, blowed Sony Vegas 14 out of the water when it comes to rendering as uh, Sony Vegas 15 as long as you're using GPU acceleration it does uh, it does blow it out of the water now this again uh, Premiere is set up to run off a of GPU acceleration as well so now let's go ahead and do something um, pretty neat here we're going I'm gonna go ahead and stop this for just a second and then we're going to use uh, uh, media encoder okay okay now that we've done that let's go ahead and test out and see how it does on media encoder so let's go ahead and export this we'll export the media everything's going to be kept the same I'm just going to rename this test okay yes okay now uh, we're going to go ahead and click on add the queue okay now once the, we clicked on add the queue um, media encoder is going to pop up now uh, in here once we got media encoder I think the purpose of media encoder I think it's supposed to work a little bit more faster plus one thing about using media encoder is if you use media coder with uh, Adobe Premiere <clears throat> that means you can run media coder 
however to render it out but then you can also go back to uh, Adobe Premiere and work on something else if you get what I mean <laughs> so uh, anyways let's go ahead and get started with this it's already going to where I need to go it's mashing source with in high high bit bit rate so let's go ahead and oh let me bring up the stopwatch we're gonna go ahead and reset the stopwatch let me set it over here and I'm gonna hit start I'm gonna go over here and hit start there we go one thing pretty cool about down here it tells you the elapsed time which right now I got it pretty much close to that so it didn't take me too long to hit <laughs> it looks like media coder is running pretty fast it might actually out uh, out be both of them so but we'll see it's getting close oh you know what I might have made a mistake to accidentally hit it a little too soon okay there you go well it looks like um i might be like a couple seconds off of there we're going to say about 150 or something like that uh because i thought it was finished and i was kind of full okay i'm gonna try to hurry up as it's getting very long but sorry about that last clip with media encoder unfortunately i didn't look at ops and seen that it was actually blocking the um the rendering on that so sorry about that but you did get the times but here are the results right here on the top left hand side uh, you will see Sony Vegas 15 that's with GPU acceleration on on the left or on the right hand side on the very top you see uh, a Vegas 15 with uh, just CPU you know running off the CPU uh, on the bottom right top hand side which is Sony Vegas 14 is what Sony Vegas 14 is using again using CPU now on the bottom left hand side is media encoder that's the time we got with that now it might be like maybe one minute and maybe 45 seconds uh, or maybe in one minute 50 seconds just depends because I accidentally stopped it before it was done I thought it was finished but it's still close enough uh, and then on the right bottom is uh, Premiere Pro it got one minute and 40 seconds so in conclusion with this video this right here is kind of I purposely made this video to want to compare the rendering times for them because in the past people has always compared the rendering times between Sony Vegas and Premiere Pro and for the most part Premiere Pro always always has one well it looks like Sony Vegas 15 with GPU acceleration on is clearly the winner now so I have to say I am very impressed with Sony Vegas 15 well let's call it Vegas 15 that's what they're calling it now uh, since uh, magic took it over but I'm very impressed there is so much stuff that they have added to this uh, program that has really really you know up the bar uh, between competition between Premiere and uh, Vegas although Premiere is still a lot more better because it has after effects but if it didn't have After Effects and you combine, uh, compare Premiere to Vegas, I say they right there neck and neck. Uh, honestly, I think Vegas might take the cake a little bit considering uh, the ease of use that uh, Vegas has. Premiere, you can still use Premiere and it can be kind of easy, but you have to go a roundabout way of doing things sometimes. And that's what I don't like about Premiere. I avoid using Premiere as much as possible, but if I have to use After Effects, that's when I will use Premiere. But otherwise, I always use Sony Vegas. Anyways, that's it for this video. Until next time, live long and prosper and peace out. <laughs>